good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to Rob Motive. Today, I wanted to talk about wheels, Toyota Tacoma wheels, specifically painted wheels. You know, I replaced the stockers that I had on here almost right away because I wanted something different and I wasn't real thrilled with the looks or the offset of the stock wheels anyway. And one of the big concerns I had, there were two in doing that. One was the offset. I wanted to make sure that I got them far enough out that I could have some wheel poke. Nothing crazy, but enough to get the wheels, or the tires rather, outside of the truck a little bit. And I think I achieved that. I like the look that I have. I think they came out really well. And it's just the perfect distance for me. It gives you that nice, aggressive stance. But a bigger concern for me was painted wheels. How are they going to hold up? Are they going to chip off after a while? I mean, when you're driving down the road, things are always impacting the wheels and tires, rocks and things that fly up off the road, curbs if you happen to get too close, which I am very keenly aware of. Nothing is worse for me than driving somewhere up against a curb and first you feel it in the steering wheel and then you hear that that's like the worst thing that can happen, at least to the wheels on the Toyota Tacoma. So I'm very cognizant of that. But mostly whether or not they would chip, scratch, anything like that. So we're gonna take a look. I have painted wheels on the truck. They are bronze. And so far, and I've left them dirty. I could have cleaned them up for the video, but I thought, you know, this is the way that probably most times they're gonna look if you actually drive your Toyota Tacoma anywhere. So you can see this is what they look like dirty. And I have to say bronze, because of the color, hides the dirt really well. Now we're up close, so of course you can see things a little bit better. But if I go back here out in the light, and back away from the truck a little bit, it's harder to see any dirt on there unless you really focus on it. They look pretty much clean. And I like that about these because I'm not a big fan of washing vehicles anyway, particularly wheels. And one thing I wanna say about wheels, you know, I've had wheels before that had a lot more design in them. We'll take a look real quick, and this isn't even extreme, but at the, the Honda wheels, for example, you have all these spokes and little surfaces that are different angles in between everywhere, little ruts and things in the wheels. Those are all places that of course hold dirt and get dirty. I don't like cleaning wheels as I mentioned, so I don't wanna to have to screw with stuff like that. So I learned a while back that to go simpler is better. And that's what I have on these wheels. You notice there aren't a ton of different angles. Everything is really pretty much the same. Of course, you've got the slots. You can't really avoid that. Uh, you're always gonna have slots of some sort, whether they're bars or spokes or whatever in the wheels. But the more ornate you go, the more surfaces you're gonna have to get dirty and have to clean. Real quick, we'll take a look at the Jeep that I have out here because it does have more ornate design to it than the Tacoma does. You can see all those spokes and different surfaces and nooks and crannies and things that hold all the dirt and stuff. Even the bolts around the, uh, the top here, all of those have little crevices. I mean, every one of those that of course will hold in all of the dirt and dust and grime and all that kind of stuff probably should have gone with different wheels on the Jeep, but hey, live and learn, right? So I've been pretty happy with them so far. If we go back down here and take a look, you can see there are no scrapes or scratches or dents or chipping paint or anything crazy like that. So nothing that I have to mess around with. Um, chrome, or rather bronze, was a stretch for me. I've never had bronze wheels before and I Really wasn't sure if I'd like them once I got the truck, but I have to say they're a good contrast to the magnetic gray metallic. And I think bronze really would look good on any of the color colors out there. You could have them on white, black, blue, red. I mean, it really does go with everything. So I guess if you're uh, wondering maybe whether you should go black or chrome or some other color, I mean, these days, 
You can get wheels in black, red, bronze, blue, even white. White is something I would never go with. I mean, unless I had a show car or something, white is something I would never do. Can you imagine how dirty those would get on the, on the outside down in the wheels or in the, in the tire area? It wouldn't be very good, I don't think. So anyway, I'm pretty happy with them. No chips, no problems, no issues. Uh, I'm glad I went with these. Black probably would be even better, black painted, because if you ever did have any scrapes or scratches or whatever, you could touch it up. Granted, if you're gonna get up close and, and look at them uh, with a picky eye, then you're probably going to see that. But nonetheless, pretty easy to touch up. Bronze, probably a little bit more difficult. I just wanted to get on, let you guys know uh, how they're wearing, what they look like. I'm very happy with them so far. Cost-wise, I believe they were about 250 ish dollars a piece. Um, so, not the cheapest out there. You're talking about a grand in wheels, but not the most expensive either. There's one other thing I want to mention. I did do a little bit of a mod on these, if you had seen in the previous videos. The black rhino area, and these of course are black rhino wheels. I believe they're stadium wheels, I think they might be called. But anyway, this black rhino logo in here or company name was originally chrome. I actually took the uh, center cap off and took it apart. It's held together with some plastic welding. I took it apart and then went ahead and actually hand painted those letters separate from the uh, uh, the badge or the, the cap itself, and then put it all back together with glue. It's held up really well, no issues with it. It's wearing well, the paint has not chipped or anything crazy like that. And I think it's a good look for this truck. I've had a lot of compliments on these wheels, particularly, strangely, that center cap, because you can't find them that way, unless maybe Black Rhino has changed how they make these, and I think they should make them black like that. They, of course, want their logo and name to stick out, which is probably why they do them in, in chrome. But much better look for it, I think. It just makes them look more aggressive. And even when black, with the bronze background, they still stick out well. So Black Rhino, if you're watching, put out a wheel that has an actual black, uh, has black letters in it. It just looks much better, I think. Anyway, just wanted to get on here, give you guys an update. I get questions on the channel. How are they holding up? What are they? How did you get them in black? Well, there you go. Leave a comment. Let me know. If you've got painted wheels, how are they holding up for, for you? Any problems? Any issues? I'd be curious to know. Also, real quick, I do have two additional channels. Mod Driven, all about the Honda Civic, and Rob Motive JT, all about the Jeep Gladiator. Check them out, and if you're interested, why not subscribe? And while you're at it, smash the subscribe button here too. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.